Some polynomials are able to be factored just because they look a certain way. And so we call these special factoring forms. And so if your polynomial fits one of these forms, you can automatically factor it using the uh, template that, that we have. There's a few different special factoring forms. In this video, we're going to look at the difference of squares. So if you have a squared minus b squared, automatically it'll factor as a plus b times a minus b. And if you have a sum of squares, then these guys never factor, and this is what we would call a prime polynomial. So we'll, we'll look at a few simple examples. Let's say we had, for example, uh, x squared minus 49. The first thing you'll want to do is write some empty parentheses so that you can figure out what your a and your b are. And so for this one, I think it's pretty clear that x squared would give us x squared and 7 squared would give us 49. So the x is like my a and the 7 is like my b. And so basically we just use the template, we just use that special factoring form and it's factored as x plus 7 times x minus 7. That's a plus b times a minus b. And notice this could not be, uh, could not have been factored using like common factors or anything like that because it didn't have any common factors and it wasn't a trinomial so you couldn't use like trial and error uh, or the grouping method wouldn't have worked really either with this guy so um, this is good that we have this technique here and let's close with one last example um, let's say we had 4y squared minus 1 if you see a difference in its two terms it's worth at least investigating maybe it's a difference of squares. So we'll have something squared minus something squared. So what squared gives us 4y squared? Well, it'd be 2y quantity squared. 2y times 2y would give us 4y squared. And 1 squared is 1. So we have our a is 2y and we have our b is 1. So we'll factor this guy as 2y plus 1 times 2y minus 1. a plus b times a minus b. And again, just remember two things. One, uh, if you have a sum of squares like this, it'll never factor. And this is a very common mistake that students make. If you had something like x squared plus 25, that just feels like it should factor. It seems like it would factor, but it doesn't. This is what we call a prime uh, polynomial and the other thing I wanted to mention is why this even works like why does a plus b times a minus b why is that the factored form of a squared minus b squared well look at this guy just imagine foiling this these two binomials out a times a would give you a squared the outer would give you minus a b the inner would give you plus a b and the last would give you minus b squared well, here you have a minus AB and a plus AB that are going to cancel every single time, and you'll get A squared minus B squared. So that's why this difference of squares factors the way that it does. So anyways, that's how we factor differences of squares, and in the next video, we'll look at a few other special factoring forms.